three individuals are quarantining in Appleton, but not because of COVID-19. We do have uh, three confirmed cases. There was a third confirmed case uh, right after the uh, uh, press release had gone out. City of Appleton Health Officer Charles Sieper says the three confirmed cases of monkeypox are consistent with what's being seen around the world. But he wouldn't elaborate on if those who have the virus are male or female, though he believes there are more unconfirmed cases out there. Not only in the city, but uh, statewide. And so given the nature and the way this um, this virus is currently transmitting, um, we do expect that, uh, you know, with, with that intimate partner piece, um, that, that there are, are probably more. The World Health Organization has declared monkeypox a global health emergency. So why is this categorized as low here in the city of Appleton? Yeah, well, so low really designates the the community transmission piece, right? We we do not expect that uh, monkeypox will reach any sort of um, uh, uh, community uh, 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 transmission piece, right? So that that's not something that that we would expect. It is an an emergency in the fact that it is spreading very rapidly amongst um, uh, close close sexual partners. If somebody has to have true exposure. We can vaccinate them and hopefully prevent the disease from occurring in them, or at least mitigate how bad it will be. Prevea Health President and CEO Dr. Ashok Rai says there is a concern due to the more than 2,000 cases in the U.S. Adding education is an important tool in making sure the virus is contained. Educating people around what the virus feels like, you know, having that fever, having the, the enlarged lymph nodes, a headache, feeling like you have a flu and then, you know, a few days later developing that pustular rash. The CDC says the virus is spread from person to person through direct contact with the infectious rash, scabs, or body fluids. Concerned with Rye saying long-term effects include there. scarring of the skin. Seeper's adding this on how folks can stay healthy. We would just urge uh, folks to um, not have sex if you are sick. Uh, do not have 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 sex with, with others that, that are sick. Uh, be vigilant for uh, strange rashes, that kind of thing. Medical professionals professionals confirmed the first case in an Appleton resident. That happened on Thursday. The second was discovered on Friday. They confirmed a third case today. They are working with local, state, and federal health officials to monitor this situation. They say there's still a low risk of widespread community transmission. We do not expect that uh, monkeypox will reach any sort of um, uh, a community uh, a, a transmission piece, right? So that, that's not something that, that we would expect. This is where everything unfolded yesterday. You saw that video uh, last night of officials on scene. Everything is clear now. They cleared about five this morning. Officials were no longer here. The road was back open, but police tape remains. Right now, we are next to I-41 southbound. We are near the Jackson Street exit. This is where Winnebago County officials say the semi left a road. You can see the tire tracks here in the grass crossed over a frontage road and slammed into that house you see off in the distance. Uh, right now, we are in the town of Vinland. This is north of Oshkosh. To give you a little bit of better understanding of where we are at, if you travel I-41 southbound, we are right next to M. Shettle Sales, right off of 41. This is Green Valley Road. So the road was closed, like you heard, for nearly 12 hours as officials were out here working to clear the scene work on the investigation of what happened. Obviously, it, it looks like a freak accident. You can see the vehicles, how fast they're traveling here on I-41. Just imagine that semi going off the road, crossing over this frontage road and slamming into the house at around six o'clock last night. You know, we don't know of any injuries. We are not sure of exactly what happened out here, the circumstances of what happened. We tried to speak with officials. We'll work on contacting them to see if we can get any more information. But as of now, this area is open. Investigation, I can only assume, continues into what exactly happened out here in Winnebago County.